G right behind Ame. Gets the jump, finds the partner. Vision will not find a stun partner with no buyback. OG, they were really playing with fire. The Hex is out in the Terra Blade. Spectral Haunt looking for the frontline attack, but that's why Somnus goes into the back line. On the front, Shaker. BKB, they're into the back line. Shaker, he's bouncing around. Hawk shot, and she stuns on the way through. He has his gone. No buyback to Marvel. Have LGD done it? They're holding Anna. Hold him in place. Chalice will find the damage. F5 will die for it. No, really? Anna is actually running away, but it won't stop. Arme from blinking up, looking for the tier 3 tower. Two players left alive for OG. They're the big ones, however. Thompson and Anna on the defense duty fortification. It delays as much as they possibly can. And now the jump out. Hex, the boy in the bubble. Thompson able to be protected once again. Chalice, very, very low on mana. They have a lot, but Arme, he'll change the life with Anna. Thompson needs to be pushed away. Able to do so. FY jumped onto the illusion only, so the hookshot won't be able to connect. But Anna, he needs to retreat. There's so much damage. Anna, 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 down. Buyback is available. They still have not taken the mid racks. OG are just trying to delay LGD for the moment. Five heroes around. The bubble is there protecting the melee racks. Anna. Sunder. By once begin to Sunder. Switches the life. Armies back up to full health. But the damage from Thompson. It's good enough to kill up the bane. Buyback is there. Thomas leaves forward. They just keep bunching them around. But they're still battling from inside the bubble. Pugna will come to the world. Living LGD. They're going for the GG push. They're going after the tier four towers. OG. They have to hold the line. They have the numbers. Seb in from the side with a day gone. Army. But no. Sunder is back up. It is there. Chalice will fall. They lose the Enchantress, FY, pushing around Anna, he's so low, can they get the die back on him? You bet your Nelly they can, Arme still very, very low, the blast will kill him off, but buyback, LGD want this now, LGD, or can they back enough? No, they're not, Terra Blade, BT's forward, the ball is up, Thompson needs to defend, X Nova very visible, you've got a very, very low life, Marana, but OG, they can't find the target, X Nova, he's got the grip, he's got the control, he's got the kill, Thompson is down, but ES is up, where the echo slam. Oh, there he is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. There's the play. Girax, the savior of OG. Looking for more chances now on the run. They tried to go for the GG push. They didn't get much more than this. And now look at him go. BT forward. In the stun. Nail the stun. Nailed Chalice. Maybe not. Hex is up. Chalice still on the run. The Moonlight Shadow. It's like it never ends. It's the same with the donkey from GRX. This guy's an NBA all-star. Looking for the kill into Chalice. Another TP coming forward. Hookshot from FY. Gets involved in the fight. The Thompson will arrive. Hexing up onto FY. The leap out. The fissure is available. Is there a follow-up? Thompson is there. They push forward. Forward. They get the control and they're bringing FY down. LGD with four heroes who do not have buyback. OG, they are gonna push. But how much damage can they do in the window that they have? They have no waves, Toby. This is gonna take a long time to cross all the way across the river. Probably will be enough time to get one lane of barracks in LGD's base. But if they do win a team fight there afterwards, there's no buybacks left on either team, I do think. Only Pugna. Seb still has his. It's getting nervous. They're the trying to go through. The there is a glyph. Thompson, Thompson, and GRX. It sounds like a brand of victory. They'll come in through the mid, taking the tier three tower. Oh, they might be able to get the whole thing. Tier fours now. LGD, my how the tables are turned. OG are going for the tier fours. Charles is there, defense. They will be up in just a second. The fortification, it buys time. The hex is there from Charles, but now here comes Anna. He's on the front lines. Jirax leaping forward. All he has to do is create space for OG to do it, to get to the grand final of TIA. Tip him up. Poor tip him over. The lead comes forward. They've got the control. X Nova, he'll go down. This is the game. LGD have nothing left. OG have done it. It goes the distance. It goes to three. OG, how many times have they reached the grand final? But only of a major. Never of TI. Their roster was shattered into pieces. They pull it back. They've got first-time TI players on the field. And they've reached the grand final. Woo! This that was so that was such a crazy ending. I don't know. This is probably the craziest game of the whole tournament that we've had so far. OG 
in the end, they had to cycle through their buybacks very strategically, one by one. They had the perfect heroes ready with the buybacks at the right times. LGD, they went all in. They went for the game-ending play, took a huge risk, and OG had just enough to what defend their throne. What a game. What a series. LGD and OG. What great Dota, but OG. They have reached their first TI Grand Final. The dream is real. And this crowd, there's a huge China fan base. LGD still played amazingly well, but my, how many OG fans have just been created? A crap ton. What a match. OG goes to the grand final here at the International 2018, taking down PSG LGD 2-1. We're here at the panel with Winter, CCNC, and 